The new Korean Maple Story update just dropped, and I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about it. Massive, massive class changes that has changed everything. Bishop, giant nerfs, Lara, big buffs and everything in between let's get started i just woke up so if my voice sounds weird it is what it is we have to cover this because it's so important so the first thing we got to talk about is the common skills that have changed the goddess skill for most of the classes the cooldown has been reduced to two minutes so instead of waiting three minutes for your goddess skill to stack up it's only going to be two minutes now which is actually crazy i really hope that they make this change for princess akuno's blessing as well but we'll see they also made a decent advanced blessing and decent speed infusion passive skills now so that saves you keybind space saves you pet buffs which is actually insanely huge the maple warrior skills are also passives as well so another pet buff saved another keybind saved as well another really really big one is last resort has been nerfed that's crazy so instead of giving 35 percent final damage at level 25 it gives 29 percent final damage now at level 25 but the damage you take while last resort is on has been reduced so i guess that's nice i think the thieves are going to be really mad about this one they actually added a new common fifth job skill fountain decent fountain so now every party could have a fountain support that's crazy i'm gonna be honest with you, that's actually crazy so bosses like black mage are just gonna be so much easier because people are just gonna run fountain now to support each other all right now let's get into the specific class changes there are so many so lock in we're gonna talk about all of them is this you wasting your own precious time making food for yourself stop wasting your time and get back to farming for maple story gains if you spend even an hour a day making food for yourself you're missing out on up to four and a half billion mesos and like 200 frags a week that's why i partnered up with factor to help save you time and get more gains in maple story with fresh never frozen meals straight to your door i tried it myself and it saved me lots Lot of time and therefore made me get more gains on maple my own community loves it too so stop trolling and wasting your mesos get 50 percent off your first order and 20 percent off the next month of orders using my link below thank you factor and thank you so much for watching this and let's get back to the video there also will be timestamps to go to every single class change so you could see them a lot easier so the first thing we gotta talk about is hero the up jump delay got changed and is reduced by 35 seconds so that annoying hero up jump will be a lot faster now hero actually got some pretty decent buffs with rising rage doing more damage cry valhalla got a pretty big buff to be honest with you Co even combo instinct their burst skill got a minor buff and the hexa rising rage also got buffed as well so overall heroes damage did increase which is crazy bro hero actually got buffed all the buff heroes worked bro it actually worked potent's up jump also got changed to be a lot faster as well so it's gonna be way smoother to use their main skill their main bossing skill blast their damage got increased on it as well it's about like a 10 percent fd increase on their main skill divine judgments damage got increased as well so paladin's solo performance damage did get increased but unfortunately its support did get nerfed so the amount of fd you get from linking with somebody got reduced from 20 percent to 13 percent their burst skill the key down duration got faster it's an even faster burst and the damage increased a lot on it 595 to 700 and 1040 to 1410 so again their own solo performance went up but their support went down mjolnir got buffed as well even the blast hexa got buffed so their main attacking skill actually got a pretty big buff and with their other hexa skills as well so all in all paladin's damage itself got a lot higher but their support went down which is basically like a theme in this update is a lot of classes got buffed but if they had some sort of like support it probably got nerfed all right let's move on to dark knight up jump just like the other warriors also got a lot faster their skills are doing more damage now deserve dark knight buffs actually not only is beholders revenge doing more damage it also has two more lines two more lines is a massive buff whenever you see buffs that increase the amount of lines the skill is doing it is a huge buff it is a huge huge buff beholder shot got an enormous damage the percent almost doubled and it got more lines like that's a massive buff for dark knight their darkness aura did get slightly nerfed though but their overall damage increased a lot their burst key down actually got faster as well they moved a lot of the damage from when you're holding down the skill to the ending of the skill so as long as you could get the big ending part of your burst skill that's where most of the damage is now you don't have to necessarily sweat the entire uptime of the skill it's only four seconds so you could easily do it within a bind or a roar or anything like that but the ending explosion of their burst skill for dark knight got a lot bigger 
So Dark Knight got some pretty massive buffs, to be honest with you. Fire Poison. I mean, Fire Poison got some tiny buffs, to be honest with you. It's whatever, though. Ice Lightning's Bind got changed to a two-minute cooldown, which is actually so good for Ice Lightning, because now they could just use their own Bind. They don't necessarily need to use Urda Nova Bind. Their Burst Skill Lightning Orb's cooldown actually got changed to two seconds, so it's really, really, really fast to burst it. And the ending delay got reduced as well. Spirit of Snow got an additional line, so that's a huge, huge damage increase on their big summon. And Jupiter Thunder got... Uh, a big damage increase as well so ice lightning buffs are really really nice i think they're all going to be enjoying this this is the one that most people are probably waiting for bishop got massive nerfs yo are you a bishop that just got nerfed and you're really pissed off i think something that'll make you feel better is by subscribing and enjoying some of my other videos on my channel i also have my twitch stream right now that i'm live pretty much 24 7 on and you could tell me about how much you hate your life playing bishop so pull up and don't miss out let's get back to the video to their support let's be specific Pacific. That's like the main point of Bishop anyways. So certain skills debuffs will just be straight up removed. Angel Ray, Bahamut, Divine Punishment. And certain skills will no longer be affected by weapon jump into ring. So Holy Blood, Benediction. Benediction is the big one that is not affected by weapon jump anymore. So imagine you watching this video or seeing this news and you have a weapon jump 5 on your bishop. Oh, hell nah, bro. So you can't even use the, uh, the real Holy Fountain anymore if your own party member has decent Holy Fountain. So even like the Holy Fountain aspect of Bishop, you can't even use it anymore if your parties have Holy Fountain down. So that's basically just useless now. Angel Balance is limited to 40% now. Divine Punishment's damage got increased though, but the amount of time it takes to get a stack of, of Divine Punishment has been increased to 12 seconds, and you could only have five stacks of Divine Punishment now instead of eight. So they made it faster to get your burst out, but now you have less stacks of it. Now, Benediction got changed as well so that it just works differently with however many party members there are. They even made it harder to get final damage on Benediction. Instead of 2,500 int per FD, you need 3,000 int per FD. And the maximum amount of FD that I can give has been reduced from 40% to 30%. So it even gives less FD now. But the duration did increase on the skill. So classes that have longer bursts benefit from Benediction even more now. So some people did the calculations on exactly how the Benediction nerf works. So it gives you less final damage with the more people that are in the party, basically. So in a party of six, you're losing about 38 FD. And in a party of three, you're losing like 35 FD. But some people did some different calculations, credit here and there's this before and after of what changed on bishop so divine punishments damage got overall lower oz ring no increase for for benny angel balance damage increase got lowered benediction as you can see like the fd got changed this is how much fd you get in the party now so if you're just like doing it's like a six percent fd nerf only so let me know how you feel about these bishop changes because this kind of changes like the way that we even think about party bossing in general to be honest with you all right let's move on to bowmaster so bowmaster got their lifesteal kind of like nerfed by quite a bit lifesteal is still lifesteal so it's still gonna be good but the amount of hp they get from their lifesteal is quite a bit less and the chance of it proccing is is has been reduced as well they did get buffs though like their armor piecing also like adds fd now to their skills so bowmaster does do more damage now but their lifesteal got reduced which i think the bowmasters will probably take that marksman got some pretty good buffs as well their overall damage has increased with a lot of their skills like snipe split a percentage increasing and their hexa skill boost on their skills has increased too okay so for pathfinder they did reduce the amount of crit damage the class has slightly but their overall damage increase and line count has increased so overall it's still pretty good because the numbers on the skills got higher and they got more lines but they did get a reduction in crit damage so i'm thinking that this is just bad for people who are trying to like stack as much crit damage as possible it's just like a slight nerf to that but overall it's still really good because line increase with damage percent increase is a massive buff it's not just like 100 more damage because it's two more lines as well it's a huge buff to the skill surprisingly night lord did get a buff not only did their dash get more height on it, they actually got more final damage passive and their skills got stronger. So the shuriken has two more lines attached to it. Slight percent nerf, but the lines more than make up for it. But the big thing is Dark Lord's Omen got changed to a 90 second skill and the damage got way increased on it. So Night Lord's DPS went up 
a pretty significant amount from this patch to be honest with you so shout out to those dps night lords out there but their burst it, nothing changed on their burst it's just their dps skills that got changed the long-awaited shadow buffs have arrived trick blade and slash shadow formation did get some pretty big buffs so their 90 second burst three minute burst got a uh, increase as well and trick blade got increased so their dps and burst also got higher which is really really good for shadowers no origin buff but their overall damage increase did go up a lot sonic blow action delay being reduced by 50 percent. this is loki a sleeper change too like if you ever play shadower and you're pressing sonic blow and you have that like initial wind up for the skill to come out 50 percent reduction on that so 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 good there's been so many times where like you try to use like that off burst sonic blow and like the boss just like teleports away so less of that is going to happen now but the trick blade and ssf buffs are actually really good for shad dual blade got some interesting changes as well not only did they get an up jump so for all the dual blade haters out there that hated pressing ascension now you just have a normal regular schmegular up jump you can't use your up jump after blade ascension though which sucks they did get final damage passive added on their venom but the main things that they changed about dual blade is they condensed its burst so ashura is from five seconds has been reduced to three but it does more lines blade storm or tempest got reduced from five seconds to four but it increases the line count and ashura hexa skill also got buffed as well so dbs are gonna burst even faster now and they have an up jump and they got some fd passives as well so this is actually a pretty fat buff for db and if you're a dual blade player you should be happy now here's the thing though with the three thieves three thieves got a pretty big buff to be honest with you shad and dual blade more than night lord in my opinion but that's very interesting like all the three thieves are like a lot more viable now even dual blade for people who think dual blade is shit or something so buck actually got a really fat buff not only is their serpent in rage form doing more damage now but their burst got way higher like the balls from the lightning form the damage increased massively on them yeah and you could dump all of the serpent vortex charges all at once now to do even more damage so buck's burst got condensed and did way more damage now the next class is corsair and corsair got massive buffs so one of the big problems on corsair is they had a lot of weird cooldowns but they adjusted one of their weird cooldowns bullet party from 75 to 90 and they increased the damage to 1305 percent from 600 and they reduced the duration so it's faster to get off all of the damage as well they also got a lot more damage on headshot which is their um their, which is their brain scrambler skill and they got, even got their hurricane skill they could jump while using it and the damage increased as well. Nautilus Assault's damage got increased death triggers damage got increased and the rapid fire hexa skills damage got increased as well so the sayers are not ass anymore like they're actually really 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 strong now dawn warrior's biggest change is basically that their true sight the amount of final damage it gives has been reduced so it still has pretty decent support if you have a dawn warrior in your party decent support these days after this patch 5fd ooh, that's pretty good these days now like that's just how it is like oh you give 5fd that's pretty good unfortunate Next up is Mihail. Mihail actually got pretty good buffs because they got a passive that increases their final damage from 15, increased to 20%. So just straight up raw final damage increase as well. And their skills got more lines with more percentage as well, which is always good. More percentage with more lines is really, really good, obviously. And their shield cooldown got reduced from 30 to 10. They also have this skill that gives them the Royal Guard buff at its maximum effect while it's active. And instead of giving you an attack power buff, it gives you a final damage buff as well. So the Mihail buffs are pretty fat to be honest with you shout out to like the dozens of mihiles out there y'all eating bro all right so blazers have got some interesting changes as well overall to buff but again their support like their fire circle that they put on the ground that used to give 60 percent damage has reduced to 40 percent damage but they got new almost like new skills like their their fox summit has like a new effect on it that it does a new attack as well so i know the blazers are really happy about this but also their damage got increased the lion mode explosion got increased from 400 to 600 and the attack range on it even got increased as well. And and yes, their Salamander buff got increased from 300 to 325%. Wow, Wind Archer actually got some really big buffs. The main thing that sticks out to me is you could move while using the Song of Heaven Hurricane skill now. The damage actually got increased a lot too. The summon chance of their little like trifling arrow things has increased and the damage on it almost doubled. Like this is crazy. The lines have increased as well. Wow, like the just the damage increase overall is crazy on this. Like Wind Archer is just gonna be doing way more damage even on their hexa song of heaven the boost got increased as well like wind archer boss wheel just like instantly became like 
one of the best ones it's already one of the best ones but even thunderbreaker got buffed so a lot of their percentages went up which is huge like they're just going to be dishing out way more damage it's very interesting because a lot of the classes in this update that got neglected over the years are finally getting the buffs that they deserve like that's wild so all the aran doomers that were shitting on their new mastery you can now finally rejoice because aran is getting some pretty good buffs that make it so that getting adrenaline will be a lot faster and the amount of combo you have left over after adrenaline also increases but the biggest part is you have a final damage passive that goes from 15 percent to 21 percent and crit damage going from 8 to 10 so iran got some pretty good buffs as well and it got some functional buffs that make the class just better to play too unfortunately though mercedes did get nerfed lost five percent final damage not the end of the world to be honest with you mercedes is still really strong but just got a slight nerf there evan got an okay buff to their mana spiral got increased from 260 percent to 460 percent and the cooldown is removed so shout out to those evans bro there's your little slight buff there lumi got pretty good buffs as well main thing is they got a final damage increase from 36 percent to 40 percent from their red morning star passive and they changed the way that equilibrium works a little bit where that the equilibrium goes up even without hitting anything and then all of their skills became way smoother to use and they even got stronger as well so shout out to the lumis that got their buffs i still think they probably need more buffs i think it's gonna get a remaster entirely but we'll see even phantom got buffs their burst skill joker it got the duration of the skill reduced so instead of holding it down for seven seconds you hold it down for five seconds and the damage got increased so their burst got condensed which is really good and their other skills also got damage increases even the boost from the hexa also got increased as well so overall pretty good damage increase on phantom the ied debuff got moved from one of their skills to another one so you still have it which is really good so the shades that also were dooming about their new class mastery they did help alleviate somewhat with some buffs on it they also made it so that soul split has its own icon above the hp bar to know when you can re soul split the boss again which is a little convenient and then overall their damage just got increased with some of their skills and fox spirits mastery also got increased as well through the hexa but the shade split fd did get nerfed though so rest in peace to uh shade split fd so for blaster uh one of their skills i think their hyper magnum punch or whatever it's called the action delay got reduced so it's smoother and they had a function where damage increased depending on however much their gauge was at now it's just permanently increased like you don't have to worry about that you don't really have to think about it as much and their damage increased as well so pretty good nerf to, for blaster as well so battle mage had its support nerfed so the ellie resist on their weakness aura got removed and it went from giving 8 fd to 5 fd but on the bright side is battle mage itself got some pretty good buffs their own final damage increase from 25 to 30 and all of their skills got higher percent or more lines so battle mage's self damage went up but its support got significantly reduced about 13 percent fd less support still gives five percent fd to the party which honestly after the this patch is low-key kind of good five percent fd like that's low-key kind of good so it's become a lot more of like a class that just does pretty good damage on its own and just has slight support which is like the theme of this update wild hunter got some changes as well nothing too too crazy the thing that sticks out to me the most is that one of their summons has been increased from 30 seconds to 60 seconds so you don't have to replace it as often and some of the things with like jaguar movement got changed as well like they don't have to be on the jaguar to up jump which is nice i believe one of their burst skills it would mount you on the jag but now it doesn't mount you on the jag so it just makes it more convenient the jaguar can keep using its own skills while you're doing your own skills instead of you having to be on it and then dismounting off of it when you want it to use your own skills so playing wild hunter just became a lot more convenient which is actually a really good thing so mech just like a lot of the other classes that have support got its support nerfed but its own personal damage increased so for the mechanics that want to do more damage themselves like rejoice you have more final damage for yourself you gain 3 fd on mastery and your key down skill has been reduced from 10 to 8 so your burst also got condensed but the party support did get reduced so for demon slayer a lot of their changes are just action delay reduction so it feels a lot more smooth to play which is really really nice and demon cry is also less of a cooldown so just a convenient thing good for their training actually because now they could use demon cry like every single wave so demon avenger got some very interesting changes as well apparently they have a new skill that lets you not consume hp for a certain amount of time which is pretty good and their dimension sword got damage increased by quite a bit and the amount of lines increased as well which is really nice their revenant skill which is one of their fifth job skill burst buffs 
you use 50% of your HP when you use it, but the damage increase you get from it has been increased a lot by like 50%, which is huge. And then the shield, when it hits multiple targets, it does less damage, but that's only going to be applied to bosses, not for mobbing anymore. Xenon got an up jump. Congrats to the Xenons, bro. This OP class cane just got even more OP because it got buffed. I don't understand why this class got buffed because it's so broken, but it just got buffed as well. So for those who want to play like the OP class, like play cane, like that's the OP class. Actually kind of nuts. So Kadena got buffed as well. Crit damage has been increased. Attack power has been increased on their weapon mastery skill. And a few of their skills got slight increases to their percentage. So overall, decent buff to Kadena. Nothing too huge though. They'll take it though. Zero, zero literally just got like an up jump and some convenience. So that's nice for them. So for Kinesis, one of their skills got reduced from 90 seconds to 60 seconds. And the duration of the skill got lowered as well. So it's a lot more condensed and it comes up more often. But the damage upon contact got increased so the initial part and then the damage upon extinction has been reduced as well on it a lot of their damage on their skills have been increased a lot like this skill got double the amount of lines and actually a lot of their tornado like got double the amount of lines so kinesis having double the amount of lines and their skill going from 90 to 60 is actually pretty big for them i ain't even gonna lie Okay, so for Adele, they got a lot of quality of life and slight FD increases. They got 1% FD on one of their passives from 16% to 17%. They changed it so that the residence rush stacks cannot be stacked anymore, but you only have one stack that gives you the same amount of FD. So instead of two stacks of five, it's one stack of 10, and the IED is the same as well. Magic Dispatch can be used in the air. Ruin can be used in the air. Shard Breaker can be used in the air as well. So a lot of quality of life with slight buffs, which is really nice for Adele. They probably would have taken more more buffs to be honest with you but the quality of life is nice so ilium has got a pretty big buff as well they got a seven percent final damage increase from one of their passives and a lot of their skills the duration has increased from 10 to 20 seconds as well which makes it a lot more convenient to play ilium as well the other thing about ilium is they got an up jump you can't up jump after you fly though but shout out to the iliums bro like y'all are really eating with this one seven percent fd on a passive is is, is nuts kali's got a pretty big buff to be honest with you kali's got the their FD passive increased from 25 to 30, and they got another skill increased from 30 to 40%. And they got crit damage increased from 8 to 20%. And their skills are more smooth. Kali got a massive damage buff as well. Shout out to the Kali's deserved one of the best design classes in the game. And now it does more damage. So Arc actually got some nice buffs as well with their damage percent increase. They have some skills. Their fusion skill has a higher final damage increase as well. And they don't have to charge their uh, endless suffering as much anymore. And it has as a damage increase so they also made it that if you get like an abnormal status or something like it just comes out right away which is nice like just some quality of life but it also does more damage the interesting thing about arc is arc actually has some good support as well that didn't get nerfed so not only is arc doing a lot of damage it also has good support so this class is like a top tier class now without a doubt now we got to talk about the actual most important part is the big lara buffs you can actually hold an extra vein that you can use to summon whatever vein that you want. You could bind in the air now. Big stretch got changed so that instead of it taking five charges to do maximum damage, you only need four uh, veins on the ground to do maximum damage, which is really good. And the damage increased from 1200 to 2200%. That is a massive damage increase. Now, Lands Connection, which is their burst skill, also got a massive final damage increase as well, going from 1680% to 2100 2040 to 2800 so their burst got increased a big amount as well surging essence also got a huge damage increase this is a very low cooldown skill winding ridge which is their mountain ridge skill also got a big damage increase as well final damage absorption got increased from 20 to 21 when you absorb the the vein water summon got stronger tornado summon got stronger and sun summon got stronger as well so overall lara got massive buffs as well which is honestly deserved deserved like it's a about time Lara got buffs and they got really good ones in this patch. Shout out to Smell Sword and the Lara Cord. Look how much final damage their skills got, bro. Holy shit, bro. Water, Wind, Sun Summon, Lance Connection, Big Stretch, Winding Ridge, and Essence Surge, bro. Holy moly, Lara got massive buffs. Hoyoung got an up jump. Their Ghost Summon Duration got increased from 40 to 90, which is really convenient. You don't have to summon it as much. You don't have to use one of your dots on it. And a lot of their skills got some quality of life, like being able to use it in the air. I believe they did get a slight final damage 
damage increase as well, which is really nice. But that's about it for all the class changes. Massive, massive patch for class changes. Let me know what you think in a comment below. I definitely want to hear what you guys think. Let's have a conversation about it. Obviously, if this video helped you out or you learned something new, make sure to subscribe and watch my other videos. I'm going to have a lot of videos covering this type of stuff. New tier lists are on the horizon, all that. If you have any questions, obviously leave a comment. I will respond to it. And at the end of the day, like I always say, it's so important to play what you like and to not meta slave because look at the bishops now, bro. They're all crying and they all meta slaved and a lot of them never even liked bishop in the first place. They actually got fucked, bro. Long story short, this patch increased a lot of damage for the classes that really needed it, which is really, really good. And all the support classes got fucked. But with that being said, I hope you enjoy the video and have a wonderful day. And very important is while making this video, I had the chat helping me as well with some translation and making sure that what I was saying is correct. So shout out to my beautiful community. Shout out to the Dookie verse and pull up to the Twitch streams or else you're missing out. Look at this, bro. Oh, so blame chat if info is wrong. Bro, this guy blue sticks, bro. Shout out to my members, Blazefire, Shooms, Uju, Shigad, Ravi Espa, Koga, Pabo, Piconier, Jesse B, Dante Victory, Zats, CK, Assassin, Prelman, and Johan. I appreciate you guys so much and shout out to everyone who made the fan art. Thank you for sending it.